Uh, let's have a look at, at Hazard's contribution then. I mean, we made the point before the game that his absence and maybe not being fit in the early weeks of the season hurt them as well. How, yeah, how did he play yeah, tonight? I, I thought he played very well and he was the key to a lot of good stuff. And they had many, many chances when it was only one nothing. Look at this. Look at his, his anticipation to pick it up and his close control. He uh, gets the shot away frequently. Goalkeeper, I have to say, made the saves really well. Uh, he, 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 he kept the ball close to him, didn't let anything come off from when shot. But his movement was very, very good and did. He was always in the action. Here he is, picks it up, gets a little spin away from his mark. Fazio gets the shot away. And they had lots and lots of chances to retrieve the situation. But here, there was a deliberate stamp from Florenzi, the right back. You don't notice it so much at, that, at this angle. We'll see it on another angle. He definitely went down on his Achilles tendon here. Watch. Look, that's a stamp for me. He has his hands in the air saying, I did nothing, ref. Referee didn't even give her a foul. And after that, his uh, influence on the game... Gone out of the game. ...went out of the game. He didn't have the same impact whatsoever. And it, it was a bit of a stroll, to be honest, from there on in Roma. They made chance after chance after chance in the game. The dark arts of Italian defending there, Richard, for you, that last one, or, or deliberate or accidental? Yeah, I think he, I think he knows what he's doing. Mm. Um, it's not a penalty, but it, it, it's affected Chelsea's best player on the evening. And then, like Brian says, they, they never recovered from that. What a way to wrap it up for Roma as well. Perotti was an absolute stonker of a goal. Yeah, it was a beautiful goal. Again, a mistake by Chelsea. Fabregas giving the ball away. And from here, this is Brian saying, but last season they had Kante and, and Matic, where you're watching back mm. there, he doesn't even see the danger and go and close the area down. He just, just lets him be. But he took it so well. He, was, he drifted inside. And just struck it nicely in there. Right See, Par Parotti, he, he's actually Pedro he's beaten because they took off Kale and they put Aspoqueta Aspo inside and Pedro to right wing back. They were chasing the game. But Parotti w w was smashing in the, in the match also. But so easy, as Richard yeah. said. It's far too much space in that midfield area where they've always had protection for the centre-backs. What's your, what's your sense of it then, both of you? We've seen this record before, we've heard this record before in terms of, of Chelsea. I think Mourinho is the only championship winning manager with Chelsea not to get sacked within uh, a year. But a lot of the things that Conte has been complaining about in terms of squad depth and in terms of the players that were brought in to, to replace players who left, it, it, is bare, it is coming true and it is being reflected in their performances, Richard. Would you agree with that? Yeah, the people that have left haven't been replaced by similar quality this year. They've been replaced by potential, I think, and people who they can probably sell on in the future at a profit. Chelsea, after winning the league, need to go on and try and win the Champions League. Um, that was the aim, I would have thought, for the club. To me, they, they won't win the Champions League and they, they, they won't win the Premier League this season. They've gone backwards and um, you've seen it over the years with Chelsea. The manager starts making noises about not being happy and then the players aren't putting the same performances in and then everything falls apart. We hear reports about the players texting Steve Holland, the assistant from last year. Now, Conte denied that fulsomely, but it's, it's clear all is not well, Brian. Which well, is extraordinary given how well, how good, how well yeah, they did well, last I mean, they've lost, they've lost three league games already to Burnley. Whatever about losing to Man City, they've lost to Burnley and Crystal Palace yeah. already in the league. So I think the league has slipped away. What we might find <laughs> is that he has much more Conte has much more concentration on this competition but what he he would have been aware pre-season that they now had to juggle at least two competitions mm. Champions League is a priority Premier League is a priority whereas last year he had enough players and they were able to do it with very few changes in the team but now he doesn't much have the depth ask, or the yeah. familiarity with each other and now he's had a few injuries this year Hazard come back we saw tonight Conte out uh, a little bit Pedro, Pedro's been out but the, the, the the defensive setup is not working as well mm. as it did last season. Just to mention, by the way, as I said, in three weeks' time they can go to Carabag and still qualify. But what they've done in the last couple of games against Atletico has been extraordinarily impressive. So that's that's not a gimme by any means. No, Carabag have done very well for the first time for a Kazakh team to qualify at this level. It's a massive Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Sorry, sorry. Azeri Azerbaijan, viewers Kazakh. watching, hope yeah, you're happy. No, uh, yeah, but it's a, it's a marvelous achievement for them to be pulling points out. But it's also a, a sign that Atletico. But off. And they're going well still in the league. They've won five and drawn five in um, in the Spanish league. A lot mm. of draws. But in this competition, I'm saying they've three three draws. It's it's it's, uh, 
Uh, three draws over four games, and Chelsea did really well. That was a fantastic mm. header, brilliant, brilliant goal in the, in the near post area. Not but, used to Atletico conceding goals like that, are we, Richard? Very unlike them, yeah. And they've been this way all the season. They've not. I think Griezmann's not been on top form this season, and they missed that striker scoring the goals for them at the moment. And, and maybe the defensive thing. I mean, Juan Fran is there, Godin is still there, Philippe Luiz in the left back position, Hernandez playing centre. Mm. But three of the same back four have been there for years. Not quite the same protection in front Similar of them. Similar to too. Chelsea, isn't it? Uh, turnover there, right?